Hello everyone, welcome back to Fulgrim Gaming, so let's play Final Fantasy VII. I'm actually gonna cut it out until we get up to Bugenhagen's little area, because I don't want to have to, you know, have, get into random battles and stuff. So I will see you guys in a second. Alright, so we've made it to uh, Bugenhagen's house, and while I was walking over here, I realized we never used Chaos on this. No, nope, we went through that whole side quest with Lucretia, and it's just been sitting here. So let's go ahead and use it, because he's learned all of his other limit breaks, so he's one of the few that can learn. You know, I think we actually did use it, and then when we had to restart because of the tough ring and all that stuff, we just never used it again, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's how it went. Alright, so I used it on C uh, pff, Vincent. Oh, so I wish we had an ultimate turned limit into that break thing? for That'd be Sid. awesome. But anyway, oh I think that's everything. Oh, we forgot the Venus Gospel, which is Sid's ultimate weapon, but we will get that pretty we're getting that after this, yeah. Yep, so we're gonna go in here and talk to Bugenhagen. I think I was Bugenhagen. Yeah, you were Bugenhagen. Ho oh, ho ho! If you were ever in need of my wisdom, you were always welcome here. Yeah, that's why we came. What to do? Have you lost your way? When that happens, we each have to take a good long look at ourselves. There's always something in the deepest reaches of our hearts. Something buried or something forgotten. Remember it. Whatever that is must be certainly what you are all looking for. That's easy enough to say, but I can't remember a thing. It must be there. Look harder. I don't know, Cloud. I think we should have everyone here. Oh, he's gonna call him up on the phone and oh get him Oh my, there. Let him pull out his 90s cell phone. It's as big as his hair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a ridiculous thing. There could have been I a more tactful way of doing this than calling them on the phone. Oh. Do you see it? What is it that you were searching for? Nope, not a thing. Not Can't come up with a thing. Me either. I don't get any of this. I remember Eris a lot. You had to bring up... God, I was just starting to forget wow. about Eris. Wow. No, not that. You haven't remembered. I think it might have been me, Dang. <laughs> oh, is this you, Dang? You haven't forgotten. That's not it. Or maybe it's not. No, that's you. <laughs> oh, how would you say it? Eris was right there all along, right by our side. She was so close, we couldn't see her. What Eris did, the words she left behind. That reminds me, I was the same. As was I. Me too. She said she was the only one who could stop Sephiroth's meteor. But Eris is gone. Is it possible, impossible for us to carry on what Eris tried to accomplish? We ain't no ancients if that's what you mean. What did that girl go- Wait, I've just butchered that thing. <laughs> what did that girl go off to that place? That's it. What's it? We don't know about it. What did Eris know? Why did she face Sephiroth without running away? I see. She returned there once again, correct? Hmm, perhaps I'll have you take me there. You're going too? What's so surprising about that? Even I want to get out from time to time and see the outside world. I wonder what did it. I haven't felt like this in ages. It must be the planet. The planet is calling you. Yeah, who boy, the planet is calling, right? Ho <laughs> ho then let's go! Alright. Dang, <laughs> we got a big party here. Oh yeah, Bugenhagen, I have one more thing I want to ask you. We're carrying around huge materia. This is pretty delicate stuff, and we would like to keep it in a safe place. <laughs> then we'll put it upstairs. Now, shall we be on our way? I love his ho-hoing. I know. I'll teach you how to work the machine. Watch carefully now. You just pull this here. I didn't see what he pulled. Oh, he didn't that. pull anything. Well, it looked oh, like a little dang. lever on the wall, maybe, or something. Oh, we're going up. Every time I see him, all I see is a man floating. Yep. We've I'm it sorry. <laughs> is this what you call huge materia? This is really rare materia indeed. Materia this rare is certain to have a special consciousness enclosed in it. Now, I guess we're going to have to talk to the consciousness of the huge Dang, materia. Dang, huge, huge materia. materia. It's glowing strangely. The huge All materia right. emitted a cold glow, and... <gasps> it's rumbling. Is that Bahamut? Oh, Oh, apparently our materia is glowing brightly and reacting to the blue materia here. What's going on? Oh. Yeah! Dang! <laughs> that is one of the best summons in the game, Bahamut Zero. Forget Neo Bahamut. Uh, Bahamut Zero is going to have to replace him. He is there. That is an awesome, awesome summon. All right, so how do we leave? My God. Um, Bugenhagen, help. Whoa, there we go. I don't want to talk to this one. 
What the heck? I don't know. Run towards the camera. Are you go. gonna talk to all of them? Apparently, I have to. Oh, there we, we just go. what happened? I guess I talked to too many materia and Bugenhagen got bitter. So. Oh, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it smells like machinery. I love this smell. Of course, I also love the smell of nature too. Hmm. Is the deck up there? Then I'll be on the deck, just passing the time. I can feel the workings of the planet and the smell of the wind. I also feel the greatness of man's wisdom and the knowledge and the smell of machinery. Well, bye for now. He He's talks weird. a lot. He, he can, can fly, too. Fly. He can freaking fly. I thought all he could do was like hover a few inches off the ground, but no, I know he, he can, can actually can fully fly. fly. <laughs> Apparently, when you reach a certain age in the world of Final Fantasy VII, you are granted you lose your levitation. legs, but you can fly. Like it's ridiculous. that's ridiculous. All right, so let's uh level eleven. Dang, this guy's leveling up fast. I know. Dang, he's getting a lot of XP. I wonder what like. Is XP in this game for the pilots just like progressing in the game? I guess? I'm like, gonna just guess just the more they drive, the more experience they get. I makes guess sense. that makes sense, yeah. But for what we missed over here was the Venus Gospel, which is. Yeah, like, we had to talk to the old man who used to like admire the uh, rocket, right? If he's not there, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> I'd be so pissed. It's the same guy we got the Yoshi Yuki from. Yeah, yep, he's there. there he is. I think I was this guy today. My, yep. my precious rocket, it's gone. Give us the thing. I know, no matter how much I look, the rocket's still gone. But I can't just just can't stop it. Just call it an old man's folly, if you will. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's a kind of hobby. But out of appreciation, let me give you this. Yes. Thank God. Thank. We're getting so much good stuff in this episode. My yeah, God. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. All right, let's see if it's any better than what we got. Where's it at? Up there. It's gonna be better. You know, I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna use that right now. I probably will eventually. But it's a lot stronger, obviously, than what we had. Yeah, oh, but dang. it doesn't have any material growth because it's the ultimate weapon, which sucks, but whatever. Yep, also we missed a treasure chest over here. Source. Guards. <laughs> Do it. Everything in this game is a source. I don't think there's any more items in here as far as I know. There might be, but who cares? Obviously, if they're just giving us sources, we don't really need them. Yeah, for real, those aren't that helpful. But anyways, we're going to be heading up north now, aren't we? Yep, we're going to go to the Forbidden City, which we haven't been to since the end of Disc... Well, I guess the beginning of Disc 2. Yeah, maybe we'll find an old friend floating around. <sighs> I, You know, I'm not even, I was starting to forget about Ares, and Cloud <laughs> had to go and bring her up again. And now we're going to the Forgotten City. And now we're going to go see where she was buried and everything. My god. They we have just... to still go through Bone Village and stuff? Do we have to? Oh, I think so. I don't... Yeah, where's the I'm forgotten literally... dang city? The forgotten city is like right behind Bone Village. It was like in that little valley, remember? Not really, actually. It's been a while. <laughs> it's like this little tiny. It looks like a pizza to me. It's like right behind the Bone Village. Where the heck is Bone Village? All right, there's there Bone it Village. is now, right there. There it is. You just passed it. That down there. That little. Do thing. we yep. seriously have to? Can we just? We have let to go me... through. <gasps> yes. Are you? That is bull. That is not grass. <laughs> what the? F you oh, that double standards right now. We can't land on rocks, but we can land on ice in the middle we of the mountain. We can land on water. God. My God. I don't even remember where to go. Do we go this way? To the way? left. Left. My, see, it's been a while. My, yeah. But I'm still in left. shock that we can land like right what in front of the, the place. Heck? I can't believe that. I can't. But we couldn't land like in front of Lucretius Cave on the side or anything. I know. Whatever, keep heading straight, you're going the right way. Yep, I think, yeah, now I remember where to go now. What? That, I didn't even know. I've always gone through Bowman Village. Well, I guess you I, wasted your time. Yeah, apparently I wasted time. This is... Yes, exactly. He's muttering. Dang, is he walking up in the middle? Oh, wait, no, he's flying. Are you getting something? Give me a moment. Do we have we to can't follow, follow him out there. I mean, he's Because we can't fly. <laughs> he's flying. <laughs> Maybe oh, we can little... walk all the way. No, we can't either. Oh, wait. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we got to go down the steps and like across that beam. There we go. Nice. All right. Now let's see what we've got here. The knowledge of the ancients swirling around here is telling me one thing. There's this net. This planet's <laughs> in a crisis. A crisis beyond human power or endless time. It says when, we, when the time comes, we must search for holy. Holy? Holy, the ultimate white magic. Magic that might stand against Meteor, perhaps our last hope to save the planet from Meteor. If a soul seeking holy reaches the planet, it will appear. Ho ho ho! Meteor, weapon, everything will disappear. Perhaps even ourselves. Even us? It is up to the planet to decide. What is best for the planet? What is bad for the planet? All that is bad will disappear, that is all. Ho ho ho! 
I wonder which we humans are. I didn't really consider him a human, but he's he's flying. Yeah, surge for holy. How do we do it? Speak to the planet. Get the white materia. This will bond the planet to humans. Then speak to the planet. If our wish is, if our wish reaches the planet, the white materia will begin to glow a pale green. This is the end. Eris had the white materia. But when Eris died, it fell from the altar. That's why this is the end. Ho ho ho! Ho Keep doing it. I can't laugh like- Ho ho ho! <laughs> Look at this! Who? Is it turning green? Oh god, what's going on? Green. Dang! Look at that ancient writing. Ancient writing? <laughs> yeah! Can you read it? I can't even make it out! Then what use are you? <laughs> yeah, I know. This is no time for jokes. I'm not an ancient. I can't read this thing. He looks pretty ancient. I, I may be old, but my eyes aren't completely bad yet. Look closely below the writing. There's a note written in chalk, key, in the music box. It was probably written by a scientist who's been here. He probably used all his energy to make out those two words. Key to what? I don't know, but it probably has something to do with our riddle. The riddle? Then it must have something to do with Eris. What does it mean? This is where the story gets to be ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> that Let's music go. box over there, we'll put the key in it. I'll use the key. You all wait here. And watch closely what happens. He is the worst not even key touching ever seen. My God. He doesn't even have to he doesn't have to walk. He doesn't have to use his hands. <laughs> He's ridiculous. <laughs> 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 At least retreated to a nice little CGI cutscene here. Ah, uh, there we go. Look, it's a pretty fancy key. I don't know how like you were supposed to get where to get this thing from that little. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I know, right? It's a good thing. I guess maybe I was just bored one day and I found it. Like I don't remember how I came across the key. Dang! Ooh, is this waterfalls thing. This is pretty Dude, good animation just, for the time. Dang! We just we got just completely drowned submerged. ourselves. Yeah. yeah, we just drowned. Something keeping the water off of us. Are you kidding me? Oh my. Now, go inside. Hope may be inside, or... Or what? Alright, we're gonna just walk straight to the water. Well, he's already... This is getting weird, alright? How is Bugenhagen here already? <laughs> I don't know. This was just a screen to project an image. Look! Look at the image projected on the screen of the water. Oh, if what if you got to see? the commentary right now... He's gonna cry. <laughs> there she is. Right before she got beat. And that's our prize, guys. And it looks to me like it's glowing green. So maybe she actually was able to cast holy, perhaps. Before she Are you it. saying she cast it? I'm. St this is ridiculous. <laughs> Leave her alone. It's glowing. Oh, it's pale green. Eris, Eris has already prayed for holy. After I gave up the black materia to Sephiroth, Eris' words came in my dreams. She said she was the only one who could stop Sephiroth, and to do that, there was a secret here. That was holy, that's why she had the white materia. Eris knew about here, and what she had to do with it. Or what she had to do. Eris has left us great hope, but it cost her her life, her future. I'm sorry, Eris. I should have figured this out sooner. You left us without saying a word. It was all so sudden, so I couldn't think. That's why it took me so long to find out, but Eris, I understand now. Eris, I'll do the rest. I? You mean we? The big gift from the flower girl left for us. It'd be sad if we didn't finish it. Thank you, Eris. Eris's voice has already reached the planet. Just look at the glow of the white materia. But how about Holy? How come Holy isn't moving? Why? Something's getting in its way. Him. 
He's the only one that could do it. Sephiroth, where are you? All right. <laughs> ah, that was awesome, Ning. It was. I just I can't believe it. They just, just they are trying to off. shove Eris's death down our throats. I, My <laughs> God. Oh, phone's ringing. Oh, another PHS. What the? Sorry, I was a little surprised. What happened? You remember when the Junon cannon disappeared? Actually, Rufus moved it. Moved it? That big thing? Where? Why? Rufus wants to destroy Sephiroth with it. That cannon operates on huge materia, but the huge materia has already been used in the rocket plan. So since the cannon's useless right now, he decided to move it. To a place for materia. No, where Mako is gathered. And where is that? Oh, oh man. This is gonna be... <laughs> This, I forgot about this cutscene, to be honest. Yeah, I actually didn't even remember the CGI <laughs> cutscene was here. I thought it just told you that the, the cannon oh, was moving. Oh, this to is going to be epic right here. Look at this. They're building it up. They got spotlights. We're back in Midgar. We haven't been to Midgar, like, in full force since we left for the world. Yeah. Dang. Dang, is that the cannon? How did they get that thing installed so fast? They, those little choppers moved it. Or maybe Bugenhagen picked it up with his force techniques and... Bugenhagen is freaking awesome. All right, if you guys think Bugenhagen is awesome, tell me. I mean, he's I guess beast. he's okay, but like, I don't know. He's I beast. I think I might have put this little scene right here in the trailer for Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, I think. Yeah, well, I maybe remember. not. Maybe not. But I think you did. That's why, Reed. It's your job to adjust the reactor's output. I see. <laughs> don't worry about adjusting it, Reed. Once you open it up all the way, everything will go full speed. Yeah, <laughs> the president sure done it this time. If we can only defeat Sephiroth, the idea that Meteor will also disappear is based on different objectives. Please remember, Mr. President, it was my idea to fi fire Mako reactor-powered shells. Will the shells really reach the far northern border? Ah, <laughs> of course. But, please, Mr. President, please do not call it a Mako cannon. This new weapon will be called... The Sister Ray. Wasn't it called that already? Well, I believe I guess so. Not. <laughs> or maybe it wasn't, you know, officially called that, but I already knew it was called that, so yeah, whatever. I thought it was just like, that was the name of it, but I guess not. Or, maybe it was the Junon cannon, I don't know. Uh, yeah, probably. I guess it was generic, and now it's the Sister Ray. Before, yeah, you know what, they should have, like, you know how the High Wind has that picture of the girl on it? Yeah, yeah. They should have painted, like, the Sister Ray on the side of the Sister Ray. Oh, my, they could have just put, like, a portrait of Scarlet on the side, apparently it's her you know, gut. that would be her kind of, like... That would be something she would do. That yeah, just they would just put on her it. on the side with a big text bubble that says "kia ha ha" on it. Kia ha ha, yeah. All right, Damn. so I guess we've got to go out there somewhere, but I don't even remember how to get out of here. Oh no, this is the wrong way. You got to go back. I'm going based already. You gotta go oh back yeah, gotta go to down. The south. Yep, yeah, I'm going awesome. I was actually <laughs> gonna go out the other way and hop up those bones again. Oh, so we could go back to the freaking guy cliffs and yeah. Great Glacier, <laughs> crazy or something? Yes, I must be. I hated guy cliffs. Dang. Yeah, that was. Terrible. Well, anyways, let's get back in the high wind. There we go. Oh, Cloud, I swear to God, if you don't get in there. Hey, what's going on? What, what the? Just get in and fly away. Dang, you don't want to, like... Apparently, he's just going to let the earthquake just destroy everything. I don't know. What if, like, there's a rock slide or something? We're in the middle of, like, a valley. Oh, get the high wind this... Out of there. <laughs> this ain't no rock slide. Emerald oh, weapon. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's not emerald that weapon. That ain't emerald weapon. His shoulders are huge. Dang, he's yelling hard. Dang. This, guys, is Diamond Weapon, which we haven't seen yeah. before. We've been introduced to a new weapon here, and he's beginning his very, very slow approach on Midgar. Yep, and I don't think he's going to be able to... Be <laughs> well, actually, never mind. I was going to say something ridiculous, but oh, God. I'll keep that. It was almost yeah. going to be a spoiler, dang. Nope, keep it under wraps. What's wrong? It's a strange signal. From where? It's coming from this person. Wow. Hey. That was a surprise. The controls went crazy. This ain't good. Weapon came straight out of the sea and is heading straight for Midgar. <laughs> the new weapon should stop him, right? I don't know if it's ready or not. Hey, what's gonna happen to Marlene? Don't you worry, nun. Marlene's in a safe place. She's with Eris' mama. <laughs> <laughs> Barrett! 
What was that scratching just now? As long as Marlene is safe, who cares what else happens, right? I've been itching to say this to you for a while now. When you blew the Midgard number one up, how many folks do you think died? That was for the life of the planet. You gotta expect a few casualties. A few? What do you mean, a few? Why, well, maybe a few to y'all is everyone to them who died. He sounds like Barrett now. Protect the planet? Ha! <laughs> y'all sure sound good. Ain't no one that go against you, so you think you can do whatever y'all want? I don't want to hear that from no one in Shinra. Nothing I can do about that. Oh my! <laughs> I would get off! Stop it! Exactly. I need to take a break. K. Sith, Barry, he knows what he did. What we did in Midgar can't be forgotten no matter what the reason. That. Right? We haven't forgotten, right? I know you. You can't quit the company because you're worried about the people in Midgar, right? 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 How right, many times? Right. Cloud. Okay, let's go. We'll beat weapon ourselves. Hey, Cloud. You think we can win against that monster? We got a chance of winning, right? How would I know? But that's no reason for us to just let him go. We're going to Midgar and fight weapon. Come on, let's move. We're gonna take that thing out. Yeah, we're gonna take it out by ourselves. Well, I mean, we did have put up a fight against uh, Ultimate Weapon, but he ran away. I mean, if we can make Ultimate Weapon run away, I think we can take this guy. I don't know. Diamond Weapon is pretty awesome, dang. And I just want to point out, why did Kate Sith's dialogue all of a sudden get like Barrett's with y'alls and mamas? And I nothing? don't know. What the? F <laughs> dang, where's Emerald? Uh, not Emerald. But where's Diamond Weapon coming from? Uh, he is right to the right. That was redundant, but he's, he's right to the. This is ridiculous, alright? There he is. There he is. Look how slow he's moving. Yeah, it's gonna take forever for him to hit. How far is he from the coast? He's heading. Ah, he's gonna, like, come over. Maybe he'll, like, land on this little tip right here or something. No, he's coming into the beach, right? I'm not doing it again. To your right there. <laughs> right to the right? <laughs> my maybe? god. Alright, so. Oh my, I'm doing it now. Alright. If we, we try and crash into him, watch him. what happens, by the way. Hey, hey! What are you trying to do? Break the high one? Let's fight on the ground! And he just does it again and again and again! <laughs> Come so, on, let me fight him! Why can't I fight him from the airship? I'm sure that'd give us an advantage. Yeah, why can't we- I'm pretty sure this airship has like a salvo of missiles in it. Why can't we just shoot it at every guess or not. But anyway, I'm not gonna waste y'all's time no waiting way. for a diamond weapon to walk all the way over here, so I'm probably just gonna cut it out. Alright. And he finally got to the shoreline and we took it forever. We are taking on Emerald Weapon. Look how huge this guy is. Holy oh, crap. Oh, man. I should have probably used a big guard first, but oh well. All right. We'll get it up because this guy... Look at that. We don't even do any damage to him. Yep. For a little while. I'm not sure what, like, what changes. I, I haven't done this fight in a long time, but we can't do any damage to him right now at all. Not even with, like, magic attacks? Well, I'm, I guess so, but... <laughs> uh, I think... I don't know. Because I know some of these guys, like, I remember the... No, I was gonna say the lost number in the Shinra Mansion. He was wasn't one of the like one side was resistant to physical, and one was resistant to magic. Yeah, I'm not sure. I like I know at some point, obviously you have to be able to do damage to him. But all right, well this will say it right here. Do spells do damage? Yep. yep. All right, good. So apparently physical attacks are useless right now. But we uh -oh. have our ace in the hole here. Let's see it. Oh come on! Our fire, fire two, two is our what ace the in the heck? hole. <laughs> oh my god, what a big ace in the hole there. He's just gonna step on us. Look how big his calves are, damn. That barely did anything. I think it was 421 damage. You couldn't really see because the display Ooh, was in the way. This is the ace in the hole. Bomb is zero. Bomb is zero. That's We've been right. talking about this guy forever. See, he went to space. Dang, I just saw the shitter number 26. I didn't see. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know if I actually saw it. Oh, I, I was going to say. <laughs> I thought you actually saw it. My God. <laughs> I was going to say, wait, didn't that blow up on the meteor? Like, <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, here we go. If this he fires kind of something from this far away, I don't think we have to worry about meteor. All right. Come on. Floor him right here. One hit kill. No, but it would be awesome. That would be pretty cool. Why can't Bahame go and destroy the meteor? Don't Look question it. There, well, that would definitely destroy the meteor. Bahamut, he's he scared. We could summon all three Bahamuts <laughs> at the same exact time. I don't know if that's possible. I guess it is. But, and they, they could go take care of the meteor. We wouldn't even have to mess with all this crap. Or, we could, like... just, we could load... Oh my! Damn! 
8,000 damage! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'll right. summon Leviathan right now. Uh, how much, uh, yep, yeah, there we go. What are, I don't even know what I'm saying. Why can't we, like, we can take all of our summons, go to space, load up a ship with, like, nukes and everything on it, blow up Meteor. I mean, is that oh, the only ship we had in the world right now? That apparently, yeah, for real, it was the only one. I never thought about using the Bahamids to take out Meteor until now, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. Wait, honestly. what if they sent the weapons into outer space? Would that work? I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> like, All right, I'm... ultimate weapon can fly, so why doesn't he just fly out there and use it? If Vuganhagen like, can fly, can. I... Oh, dang, you just oh. healed him. Can you imagine if Vugenhagen went to the meteor and just, like, if flicked it and blew up? If Vugenhagen went to the meteor and levitated it to another galaxy, oh. you know how awesome that would be. That would be... All he's got to... He doesn't even have to do that. All he's got to do is move it, like, 100 feet to the left or whatever. <laughs> dang, the power of Vugenhagen. He's awesome. I don't care. Can we like, just see summon Hades right now? Uh, yeah, we're summoning... Look at this guy. This guy's awesome. This is creepy. This guy, I think this summon is the one that inflicts a whole bunch of status ailments on the bosses, too. It oh, even works dang. on, like, Emerald Weapon. Oh, I think Diamond's gonna be impervious to this bull, right? You would think I... so, but maybe not. I don't know. I oh, guess I... he is, yeah. White Wind, right? Awesome. And I think before you used Hades, I saw that there was a countdown beginning. Did you see that? I don't see a countdown. Dang, where? Yeah, it said three. Oh, yeah, his countdown. There we yeah, go. Yeah, two. So is that, I think at the end of that, he uses Ultima, right? Yeah, I don't know if it's Ultima, but he uses whatever his attack is. I forgot. And by the way, I also forgot to steal. Come on. Yeah, Rising yeah, Sun. Yeah, Rising Sun. Awesome. Is oh, we don't have a big guard up. Oh, uh, if he kills us. No, because I'm pretty sure. You know what? Oh, my. Mega Elixir. It takes away seven eighths of your HP. That's what that does. So it can't kill you. So. Oh god! Did we get the Mega Elixir out? I wish you would hurry up and cast it, or not cast it, but use it. All Thank right, there. You. One Woo. has been used on screen. I think that's the first time in the Let's Play. Is that it? is yep, the first time I've ever used that thing. All Which, right. That's what like those are the kind of things that you should be using your Mega Elixirs for, right there. Yeah, like situations like that because that was a close one. I mean, well, here's another a... boost jump. Oh, he's got silence on him right now. He does. Oh wait, no, that was Sid. It looked wait. like it looked like the little silence bubble thing was like right in front of Diamond I, Weapon, so it looked like he had it on him. Oh anyway. dang! Did you just kill him? Come, how much oh, XP? Come on, XP? man! How much HP does this guy have? I wonder if Magic Breath will do anything to him. And it's worth a shot. Have we used Magic Breath yet? I don't think we've used it on screen. No, that's kind of. Right. There's so much stuff we haven't done. Like it's ridiculous. There's so much Find stuff Magic in this Breath. game to do. Dang! That is a beast. Yeah! It literally killed him. That was oh, a big awesome. diamond weapon for you guys. Dang. Yeah, look at our ooh, ultimate level up. And we got 25,000 kills. So ultimately, yeah, leveled up so we can finally use it. All right, so there's Diamond. He's been pushed back. He's not dead, though. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, those fingernails, dang. I was going to... Never mind, I'm not going to... Oh, okay, God. I've got to say, it looks like Beans' is fingernails. Yep, dang. For those of you who don't know Beans, he's a, the secret hidden full-grown member that has never appeared on a, an episode of anything. Yeah, his legend is his fingernails, but anyways. Doesn't doesn't look like it's after us. Something else. No, it's feeling something. Yeah, it senses murder. This is a pretty awesome perspective, by the way. To my ship! Dang, he's got a big tail or whatever that is. That is a dress. I was going to say it's a skirt or something. <laughs> yeah. Maybe there it's a up phone's ringing. Oh no, let's hurry out of here. Something big. I'm talking really big's coming. So he's not ghetto anymore, thank God. I couldn't believe I said dad. Anyway, ha ha ha, Mr. President. Preparations for Sister Rare now in order. Ha ha ha. Anytime is fine. Is he even laughing? Fire. That is awesome. Oh my God, here we go. I know for a fact this little scene right here was on the uh, trailer. And we for good reason. We some pretty rockin' music if you get my drift. Yep. This is awesome. Look, it draws from the power of the whole city. All eight reactors, even the one we blew up, suddenly works. Does it really? <laughs> Look. All of them work. Oh, wait. That's not true. Yes, it is. No, one of those off. Ah, oh, damn it. I was gonna oh, no, it's on. No, wait. Yeah, they're all working. Oh, See? my God. They, yeah, apparently they, they got it fixed. Whatever we did to it didn't work. They can fix that, but they can't fix the Sector 7 slums. Like, come on. Apparently not. Was the uh, plate down? Like, it doesn't look like anything's different, I guess. I don't know. Nothing changed. Whatever. Well, anyways, look at this I think the city awesome. went dark. Yeah, it literally uses all of the power. 
It's gonna yeah. flap its little like, yeah, wings. Yeah, flapping its over wings my. over there. Dang. That's ridiculous. Oh, all there right, we go. It's all ready. Oh my. This is gonna. If He's they dead. shoot this in Ultima Weapon, it's dead. Diamond, I mean, we diamond weapon. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Dang, it, it was the so building powerful, it destroyed parts of the Shinra building. Oh. There, lit up, it freaking ripped the ground apart. Hair flip. The way he said fire like that, just one word was awesome too, by the way. Yep. Oh, what are you doing? Are you gonna stand up to that little thing? Why do all of the weapons feel the need to throw themselves in front of Humongous Cannons? All he's gotta do is move. That's it. What is that gonna do? It's Seriously. not even doing anything. Which direction is he gonna attack from? Midgar! Marlene! Oh, it's trying to destroy Midgar now before it dies, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say Diamond Weapon, auto-locked onto Marlene. Sorry, Barrett. Oh. <laughs> he specifically targeted Marlene, yeah. Dang, the high one in the back. I never even noticed that. Dang, Look it's pretty this. close. You better move. Yeah. Oh, What if no. the sister was a little bit off? Oh! No! He's off his feet. Dang. Damn, he, he got... He didn't just get knocked over. He got moved backwards. Wow. Where? Oh, I was gonna just say, where did all that land come on, like from that he's standing on, like that miles of desert? But uh, that's, that's a good question, I guess. Damn! It went right through weapon. I see. They're after Sephiroth, the crater on the northern boundary. So they just happened to hit Diamond Weapon. That's he got dusted. What was their primary objective? Was it to hit this right here, or was it to get Diamond Weapon? It was Diamond to hit weapon? this. And they. That is so unbelievable. Diamond Weapon was a freaking bonus. My, it was a collateral shot. That's disgusting. Sir, weapon's been defeated. The bear has disappeared. Apparently both of them were objectives. Yeah, well, my god. They're lucky they lined up uh, like that. Sir, a massive high-density energy is heading towards Midgar. Oh, ding! Diamond weapon shots. Oh, yeah. Whoa, weapon's attacking! Run for your lives! Oh, god. If he goes down with the ship, that's gonna be awesome. He's going down with the ship. Look at this man. Looks like Cloud. <laughs> yeah, he kind of did. Dang! Oh, there goes the president of the Shinra Corporation. I love how nothing He's else dead. blew up except for his tower. <laughs> yeah, his office. Yeah, his, his specific <laughs> office is the only thing that caught on fire that we saw right there. Dang. Oh, well. Oh, well. What happened at Sephiroth? Northern Cave. Let's go see what happened to it. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. He's level 14 now, I think I said. Can we please get an upgrade to our speed now? We are gonna get an upgrade. I think. No, no. God, no come on. Alright, well, let's drive up to the canyon and see what's going on. Or the crater. The crater. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, wait. The, the Grand I was like, Canyon. Wait, you want me to go back to Cosmo Canyon? <laughs> nope, let's go ahead and check out the crater. Apparently, the barrier's gone. Look. Dang, Chocobo Sage, I wonder what he has to say. <laughs> I don't. You know, actually, nope, not going there right now. All right. So say he see. probably actually has more stuff to say now that we've been through the game a little bit, but we'll check on him later. Sephiroth's energy barrier is gone. Sid, can the airship get inside? Huh? He's my student, ain't he? Of course he can go anywhere. Right. Sorry about that. Yo, King Sith. Now what? Hold it. Oh, I thought he was gonna run away. Skylight, Heidegger, what's going on? Oh, that's right. He still got his contacts over at Shinra? Yeah. I didn't know he had this high up of like on the chain of command. Eh? Strange, I can't reach the president. Not the president, to Sister Ray. <laughs> what is it, Reeve? You're speaking strangely. None of that matters. The reactor's output is increasing all by itself. W wait a minute, that's not wise. It must cool for three hours or it won't work. Reeve, shut off the machine. We can't do that, it's inoperable. Someone has switched the machine over to mainframe operation. We can't operate it from here. What about the mainframe? Who? Hey, call the mainframe. Huh? Why are you giving orders? I don't give a damn about the details. And he just like had a little pose there at the end. Yeah, kind of awesome. Man. I guess he's gonna. I hadn't really heard of Reeve. I mean, I knew him from before, but I, I guess he's gonna take over. Shit Hojo. Ha ha ha! Just you wait, Sephiroth. I'll give you all the maker you want. Hojo, stop the cannon! No, Midgar herself is in danger. 
You think Hojo cares? You don't care. <laughs> One or two Midgars? It's a small price to pay. Hojo! Hojo! <laughs> I love how I have like every single character in this little thing. Yeah. Show me, Sephiroth. It should be near. <laughs> Go beyond the powers of science. Before your presence, science is powerless. I hate it, but I'll concede to it. Just let me see it. <laughs> He's so creepy. Is he somehow feeding Sephiroth power from here? Ah, I don't know. Dang, he thinks he's helping. Yo, do something, you big cat! He's a small cat. On a big stuffed animal, or yeah. whatever that is, dang. We're stuck! Hojo's doing this on his own! Uh-huh. I don't like this. You're busted, Reeve! Too late trying to hide it now! Can you stop the Mako Reactor? We can't stop it. You're from Shinra, ain't you? So why is it impossible? We came a long way to get here. You better not double-cross us now. I can't make you trust me. You damn fool! Don't you understand anything I'm saying? I don't give a damn about Shinra. If you're a man, no. If you're a human being, you'll save the planet. Don't you even care? No way! If we shut down the reactor, all hell will break loose. Why? Can't you just shut off the valve? Yeah, it's easy to shut off the reactor's pipe valves. But the reactor made a path for the energy to escape from below. Once you open that, it'll be impossible to close it until everything blasts out. And we can't try to stop the energy from gushing out. An explosion! This blast would be way stronger than when the number one reactor blew up. Damn. Forget about that. The cannon! We've got to get to Midgar. That's the first thing. Must stop Hojo first. Ooh, boy. <laughs> oh my god. More? God. <laughs> Looks like Cloud and the others are on their way. Stay out of the way. God. <laughs> don't be so ludicrous. I don't recall you giving me any orders. The Peace Preservation will give me their best effort to make the enemy retreat. Because of them, I... I... That's a private matter. The President is dead. Now I'm doing things my way. Gah! Ha ha ha! Heidegger, now I'm gonna use the new weapon! Are they gonna take Reeve away? Apparently, yeah. Reeve is like the only voice of reason. Hey, wait! Cloud, everybody, sorry. So Reeve but... is Kate Sid. Yep, apparently. Yeah. So I can't believe we had somebody so high up in the Shinra, like, in our party. Yeah. But, but you'll come, won't you? I know. Hey, I'm leaving the ship in your hands. I'm heading for Midgar. Oof, man, that's a lot of dialogue. That was the longest cutscene ever. Oh my god, we're up to like 40-something minutes on this recording. We need to stop. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but I want to go see Midgar and the Sister Ray before I stop and everything, because... Is this the cannon, is like, awesome. actually on it now? I think it is, isn't it? It would make yep. sense for it to be. But I've like, got to hop, I can't help it. Is it like, the, you know what I mean? Is it show? Is going to show up in the 3D model here? Oh, uh, yep. Dang, that's pretty awesome. Dang, I don't want to fly over Midgar just yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. Don't do it. Alright, so I want to thank you guys for watching this awesome episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, and I want to see you guys back for the next episode where yep. it's going to be even more ridiculous. So I'll see you guys next time. Can't wait to see you guys.